effective study plan and time management okay i have deliberately mentioned this line in a red font set your mindset as an auditor that is think like an auditor okay the day you decided you are going for cisa certifications cisa certification you have to be you have put you, you have to put yourself in the shoes of an auditor okay this exam will test your you know conceptual uh, understanding how you apply the concepts always be curious to know more things when you go across multiple domains i mean different domains of uh, cisa okay again c3 i mean uh, this is a very uh, this is a key uh, team uh, friends please note it what does c3 means conceptual understanding commitment and consistency is the key to pass the cisa exam throughout the this session i will never use the word fail or attempt okay if you have conceptual understanding you have commitment which all of us have yes i have to uh, i will appear for a cisa exam i will join the course and appear that is very good but you should have consistency once what do i mean by that is once you start the cisa course okay commitment is there but it should be consistent daily i mean you should be linked with the subject with the concepts on a daily basis although for 25 30 minutes on a consistency should be there you decided a target date of 90 days or uh, 60 days uh, uh, today is 4th of jan you decided to appear for the exam on 5th of uh, 5th of uh, feb let's say okay or uh, march very good but in that case you should be consistent meaning you should have a daily plan for what you are going to do and keep monitoring yourself this is what i was talking about set a plan from day one of joining the course towards passing the cisa exam a recommended is exam target date should not exceed 90 days from joining the course this is very important why because if it extends exceeds 90 days it go, goes in open loop i am saying from joining the course 90 days because 30 to 40 days you will uh, spend in uh, the course cisa course okay and the rest uh, 60 days uh, for preparing the exam those who have already done the course and you know are struggling where to start how to start you should not spend you know more than 60 days this is i'm saying maximum you should have a plan for each week and after every two weeks you should monitor yourself what was planned and what is actual achievement next point is practice mock test okay there are mock test you should appear at least for 3 to 4 mock test okay and during mock test your target should be 80% as a passing score now when you appear mock test okay there is one question you answered is uh, wrong okay don't memorize it again and just see the right answer and go ahead no you should understand the question and out of four options a b c d if you have answered c which was wrong you have to analyze why it was answered wrong why the option for example d is right why the option a and b are wrong if you follow this strategy it will help you a lot in final exam okay once you have done with mock test you are the best one to analyze your weak areas and revisit the topics that requires more clarification this is very important 